Dr. Octagon, paramedic fetus of the East with priests. I'm from the church of the operating room with the strikes of force. Scalpel since the Holocaust. The Great Pyramid's four faces are, in actual fact, concave. It is thus an eight sided structure. The King's Chamber's floor plan reveals that it is a perfect double square. If we interlock the two squares and connect the points of the eight-pointed star thus formed, we get an octagon. Researcher Ralph Ellis believes that the David star is made out of two pyramids interlocked, one obviously being inverted. If we make the two pyramids three-dimensional, we get what I call a staramid. Viewed from above, the staramid would again have the octagon implied in its geometry. We now have three very good reasons to see the octagon as esoterically intimately connected to the Great Pyramid of Giza. That is the double square of the King's Chamber, the staramid viewed from above, and the eight faces of the Great Pyramid itself. I agree with Ralph Ellis that King Solomon was a Hyksos pharaoh. It is therefore highly unlikely that there isn't an intimate connection between the eight-sided Great Pyramid of Giza and the eight-sided floor plan of the Dome of the Rock. Remembering, of course, that the Dome of the Rock is believed to be the original location of King Solomon's temple. Researchers Graham Hancock and Robert Bouval in their book Talisman relate that the Knights Templar, who during the Crusades made their home inside the Dome of the Rock, adapted the octagonal shape into their famous Red Cross symbol. Down through the ages, the importance of the octagon encoded in the Great Pyramid of Giza has been saved and preserved in the fraternal organizations, the secret societies, and the mystery schools. We see in the above images that the Freemasons have incorporated the octagon and the double square into their symbolism and imagery. Jordan Maxwell shows us how the square or pyramid inside the magic circle is important to the Freemasons. Seen here is the giant Freemasonic Egyptian obelisk viewed from the top in Washington, D.C. Thus it can be viewed as a pyramid inside a magic circle or stargate Remember in this regard how a pyramid connects to the octagon. A five-minute walk from outside my door brings you to King Solomon's Temple, or Manitoba's Legislative Building. On arriving, we see, on top of an octagonal dome, Golden Boy, Hermes, or Fof, or even Prometheus, with his illuminating torch. We enter in between two sphinx flanking the entrance, once through security, we head for the lower floor and on to the Pool of the Black Star. We are now inside a giant circular chamber with a large eight-pointed star and octagon inside a circular stargate. Is this the location and scene of many a secret society ritual? Inside a building designed after King Solomon's temple? As I lie here, I am very near to the geographical center of the North American continent. I am inside an octagon referencing the Great Pyramid of Egypt, and I am lying underneath a 13-foot golden statue of the god Fof. Unfortunately, I have been beaten to the Stargate by Britney Spears, who is seen lying inside an eight-pointed star in the video for Oops, I Did It Again. She is also represented in the video as the first life discovered by astronauts from Earth on Mars. Goro Adachi, at his website Etemenanki, makes the connection between this NASA mission patch and the Dome of the Rock's outline. He has also shown us the veiled Masonic compass and square hidden in the image. It is likely that the compass and square, just like the Star of David, has its origin in two interlocking pyramids, one inverted, as above, so below. Notice the eye of cosmic illumination of the stargate inside the two pyramids. Remember that if we think of the two pyramids as three-dimensional, 
we can see how the octagon is implied even by the shape of the David star or the compass and the square. There is one more way to connect the shapes of the octagon and the pyramid. Jordan Maxwell relates that the cross formy, as the one used by the Knights Templar and seen on the Queen's crown, can be viewed as a pyramid with missing capstone seen from above. The cross shape can be connected back to the Dome of the Rock, connecting the Dome of the Rock again to the pyramids. We see the pyramids and the eight connected again in the logo of the G8 summit. Remember, a summit could be seen as the peak of a pyramid, the apex. Remember how we connected the pyramids and the octagon and the eight all to this symbol, the compass and the square. This one with the enigmatic G in the middle. At the moment, I think of the G as the word gate, stargate. In actual fact, the G8 logo above with the pyramid, the G and the 8, is the equivalent of the compass in the square with the G inside. This all being no surprise considering who sits at the G8 summit. Is the G and the 8 just a veiled way of saying gate? This is the octagonal millennium gate from Star Trek Voyager. This octagonal tower was said to be the model for the first habitat on Mars. But hang on a second, wasn't Britney Spears the first life on Mars, inside an eight-pointed star, no less? Notice again, please, the three pillars going up to the stargate. This is the first degree Freemasonic tracing board with its three pillars, towers, pyramids, whatever, and Jacob's ladder moving up to the stargate right in the middle. Many faithful believe the Dome of the Rock to be the scene of Jacob's ascension of the ladder into heaven, into the stargate. The three pyramid pillars of the World Trade Center also have their own octagonal stargate secret. The 9-11 event in my work is no less than a secret society ritual, an opening of the stargate invoking the pyramids of Giza. An aerial view shows us the double square of the Twin Towers floor plan connecting the World Trade Center to the King's Chamber and the Octagon and the Pyramids. Compare the relative sizes of the three towers and the three pyramids of Giza and the three pillars of the first degree tracing board of the Freemasons. We see here that the laughably titled Freedom Tower, the replacement of the World Trade Center Twin Towers, is to be completed in 2012, a very significant date. Its height, 776 feet, is also the founding date of the Bavarian Illuminati by Adam Weishaupt, as well as being a giant torch connecting it to the Olympics and to Venus and the blazing star, a closer look at its geometry reveals the following. The tower's base is a cube which connects it to the Sumerian Ark, to the King's Chamber, and to the Kaaba at Mecca. The main body of the tower consists of what is called an elongated square antiprism. The square antiprism, just like the star image, sees two squares placed at 45 degree angles above each other. The square antiprism, therefore the Freedom Tower, seen from above, forms a perfect octagon. Visualize for a second how the square antiprism can be made out of two pyramids unfolded and opened, one being inverted just like we see in the compass and square and the David star. The Freedom Tower, just like the Great Pyramid of Giza, has eight triangular facets. The octagon, paramedic fetus of the east with priests and from the church of the operating room with the strikes of force, scalpel since the holocaust. I do indeed in greed explore, meet the patients, back the rooms with the nurse with the voodoo curse. Holding up office lights, standing at huge heights, back and forth, left wing, swing to north, east and south with blood pouring down your mouth. I can prepare with the white suit and stethoscope, listen to your heartbeat, delete, beep, beep, beep. 
your insurance.